Hey y'all, I'm gonna be reacting to Akuma Drive Episode 1. And I'll be some reaction in one zero oh. All right, popped up for this because the key visual looks good and Funimation logo. Now I get sick of looking at it. Yo, even that title looks pretty damn boss. Kansai. Oh, it's hella dang real, is it? I mean, um, futuristic. Alright. No, I already love the music playing, so. Oh! This definitely feels like one of the series where I definitely gotta listen to the sound. Oh, this kind of. But that's gonna, like, remind me of the. Shotgun dots and Naruto, so I know, although I know those are inspired by something else. Oh! Huh. I wonder if they're praying to some kind of deity or some kind of supernatural being. Hmm. I wonder. Ah. Uh, I already like the character designs too. They look dang beautiful. Gotta say so far the production balance seemed pretty good. Go through execution today. <laughs> South Ward and Donuts and Bordy. Impressive thing about it too, there are actually some movements in the crowds. Oh! Woo! That was a nice save! <laughs> and I can't blame for saying that I, will, I only meant to save a kitty because, you know, when you're in a distressing situation like that, you're not gonna have. Oh! I was gonna say the words aren't gonna instantly come to you to be having when he replies. I mean, hey, she tried her best, though. To one that knew that he lost some spare change. Oh! <laughs> oh! She didn't perspective there. <laughs> oh, I love how the man gives zero fucks! Not that it's okay to be littering, but shit. Oh. <gasps> uh. Hey, it may have been bad luck for him, but it was good luck for her though that she had that. Oh. Jeez, that's cool. Oh, <laughs> damn. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I, I guess he was warned. Although, that was, although, even if that were the case, though, it's just some really, really dang bad luck. Because anyone could have just as easily picked up the coin and not ended up in jail, you know? It just depends on your luck with the draw. Because who knows, maybe she didn't have, wouldn't have picked up the coin. Maybe she would have still ended up in that jail anyway. Dang, that looks pretty damn cool. Holy. 
Oh, just imagine like the la- like the like the wind gusting hitting your eyes. Though I am surprised he doesn't have any like goggles covering his face, eyes or anything like that. Gotta admit that looks hella dang cool. Right there. Yeah, that's because I wonder what he did though to get that kind of sentence. So what I'm wondering. gonna have to deal with um gee oh jeez why did that match him get too cut hey you know we did to a million Take back season real life. Holy. You don't even like that debris animation, too, as he crushed the machine. It looked so damn cool. It kind of has like an illustrative manga like feel. With the way those sequences looked, it looked gorgeous. Okay, that is some extreme self-confidence there. Got time next to use a building. Hmm. I'm assuming it's not gonna be that easy, but who knows? It might actually be easy peasy for this dude. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, at least the Cinezine is better than some of the others. At least in comparison. I'm assuming that lady is gonna do something pretty cool. Considering the character design, it looks much more detailed than the other people in the state. Yeah, I had a feeling. <laughs> Regardless, jeez, I don't think a kid's gonna improve his condition. Except for the pigeon that was trying to say. Oh, you love her! <laughs> oh, man! I meant to say, oh. Damn, aside from having pretty damn beautiful character designs, Jeez, the music's just absolutely beautiful. I 
Oh snap. Um Yeah, she should have used it. He's gonna incriminate herself in saying that though. She should have kept those thoughts on her mind. Because <laughs> you never know. Ah, uh, poor girl. I'm assuming that's gonna be the brawler. Yeah, I had a feeling it's gonna be the brawler. I'm just wondering, should those bots be trying to fire their lasers? The oh, yo, good thing she's got cat. Like reflexes. That's a little tap that can take on the heat, though. And I wouldn't call here to see if you're actually capable enough of taking ahead of what's in front of you. Now, that's an entrance of style. <laughs> uh. Question is, are they going to be able to do anything to stop them? Uh, well, I get the feeling this guy's going to die. Jeez. The thing is though, the execution hall is probably going to be the most dangerous spot to be in. Especially with all these Okuma trying to go all willy nilly and trying to do it. To, trying to do the saving. Best course of action wouldn't be to try to go carry out the execution, but to just run the hell away. But yeah, I know Pride. Pride can step into someone, and then if someone's working in the station, they'd probably have some sense of obligation. But still, though, it was imp How in the. How was he able to take that head on? Head on? I'm, it's gotta be the doctor. Yep, I have a feeling. Ah, should underestimate her opposition. Oh! <laughs> Yo, that's pretty good. How in the... <gasps> How did he even know where to aim? Jeez. I have a feeling that like even hits the, it's bo their bodies, it's probably not even going to do jack shit. Yeah, I actually like his savagery there. Good bit of characterization. <laughs> oh, and I love her cool. Oh, at least now we know his name. I mean, Jeff. No. Oh. 
Holy. Okay, now that just sounds nasty. Whoa. At least now we know how little regard for life they have because they'd be willing to even get rid of bystanders. That wouldn't have anything to do with the conflict. <laughs> Whew. I mean, hey, whatever can save her baking in by a few more seconds. It'd work out for the best. <laughs> Man, she definitely lived up to that swindler name, though. She pulled the rug under all four of them. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Frost muscles be like, yay! Uh. Hey, you know what to say? Badasses don't look at explosions! There's another one? Hoodlum. Hey, four years ain't that bad. I'm actually surprised I didn't do it earlier. But alright. Oh, maybe they're actually gonna fail. No, no. <laughs> okay, does that thing get, has it gone berserk? Hey, you know, if she um, does become allies with that Huda woman, she could at the very least get the ins and outs of being an Akudama, at the very least. I don't know, but this officer is way above his pay. Eh, hey, probably enough of the mentality of I can't have cutthroat, but none of you all can. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, I would be surprised if the series gets close to any of our main girls starts getting white hairs with all the adrenaline that's likely going through her body right now. You know, I've been willing to see what the courier's like, capabilities are when he isn't using his motorcycle. Hey, you know what? Most people in that spot wouldn't bother helping out a man that can, con can contemplate a killing you, so.
horrible. Oh, it's pretty smart right there and slick. Jeez. I mean, with all the debris that fell on cut through, I wouldn't be surprised. So I'm assuming he killed 999 people then? The hell did he have time to put that thing on? He probably knows what's up. Wait, so the cute little kid. Get one out of the thing. Oh, that cute, cute, cute. so dumb. Fuck. It fucked over our main girl. And lowered her into this mess. Wow. Just wow. That was a great twist, though. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is fucking awesome. I'm gonna rate this episode a 9 out of 10. I thought it was absolutely fa wild and fantastic. Let me break down why I thought this episode was so damn awesome. For one, I gotta say, all the characters are so damn likable. For one, I like her main girl, how she's got a selfless attitude, risks her life to save someone. Even risking her life to try to save someone that tried to end her life only because she felt like she had owed a death, even though it was something as small as the end. And I like that. Shows her a sense of honor. And it's also going to make you want to root for her because I'm like, no way I'm going to want to see her die at all. And another thing I do like too, even though, yes, She's a swindle. I like the irony of it kind of being true. She got out of the situation by talking her way out of it. Swindling, so to speak. And it shows her her street smarts because even though she doesn't look it, she's got those skills. So I love the characterization. Oh boy. Okay, now that's just fucking creepy. White haired dude. Reservoir Dogs. You know, I made the feeling that eventually, as we get more episodes in the series, our main girl is gonna probably, probably be, get a pretty dark perspective. I don't know, I'm just getting those vibes. And then on top of that, I actually like the courier because, for one, I like how he doesn't give much regard for life. He doesn't give much of a regard for anything. But simultaneously, if someone does do him a solid while he while well, we saw in this episode, he wasn't really thankful. At the very least, he did have enough emotional distance, decency to at the very least not try to go in for the kill for the main girl either. So that's why I thought he was a pretty damn nice character. I liked the brawler. He was pretty damn cool. And the doctor was just hilarious. Especially when he tried to, like, rub off all in the courier to try to, like, get the upper hand. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yo... So on all the characters are memorable, they're likable, cannot wait to follow them more. And on top of that, another thing I like too, 
from a story standpoint, this episode was just nothing but action packed from start to finish. There wasn't a single moment where I felt bored. It was a sheer fantastic. And it was pretty damn hilarious, too, especially with, like, the absurd feats where characters just thrown, they survive, where the courier is riding his motorbike without even wearing any, like, goggles to, like, block the wing gusts. It's just, just full-on rule of cool 100%, and I love it. I love series like this, you know, where it just completely throws logic out the window, and it knows it, and it works, and uses that to its advantage. The visual quality was amazing. And I love the artwork too. It was so damn beautiful. And yeah, that's what I recommend any of y'all who wants to see something that's got a cool flair, check it the hell out. I'm definitely seeing episode two whenever that releases. But anyways, y'all, so my thoughts on the episode. I'd like to hear your thoughts on how I feel about Mirage in the comment section below. Rate the video, share it, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later if you come back for more because I'm pumped up to see what the series is going to do next. But anyways, have a fantastic day and thank you so much for watching my